everybody it's t here back here with another video hey everybody listen it's the t on mpd and relationships back here with another video you know what family y'all know how we do it listen if you've been listening to my content for any time and you like what you hear listen why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button and come follow me as we discover our destinies to my new subscribers and new followers welcome hey y'all to my tribe and family at large listen welcome back Thank you all for visiting my media resource and finding value in something that I have to say. I appreciate your time, family. And if you like the content that I am bringing to you, why don't we let the YouTube community know? And we can do that by simply hitting that like button. It gives our tribe and our family right here the greatest opportunity to grow. So, you know, listen. Thursday night is our Thursday night live streams. Watch your uh, your alerts this week. I'm trying to see which day we're going to uh, go live because I will be traveling, okay? Listen, 1.2K is the goal of the day. I would love more, but if you can at least uh, give your girl, if you rocks with your girl, at least that 1.2K on the likes, y'all, please. And drop a comment below. Testify, okay, about the goodness of the Lord and what these birds did and how you got out. Okay, listen, listen. So let's go. Let's jump into the topic of this video. Okay, I haven't talked about this particular subject on the channel but I think it's uh, it's very necessary and we do need to talk about it. You know, how was the narcissist basically able to manipulate you into financial abuse? Now, there are, um, I've not covered that topic, but uh, as I said, this is real. You know, a lot of you uh, at the time that you were being financially abused, you probably didn't even really know that that's what it was. But yeah, these birds get you into uh, financial abuse. Definitely, they have a uh, they have a way that you know they talk, they move, you know how they uh, they present things to you. A lot of this is the way that they manipulate you into the financial abuse. So you know when you're when you're in in the addiction ship with them, you know a lot of times because they came with the victim story, the whole victimhood mentality, you know you were you were just compelled to want to do things for them. You know you just like oh this poor person, you know had this going on, that going on. Yeah, these birds they really know how to lay it on thick. You know when they talking about how they were the victim of everything, yet they're so secretive. You know yeah, but we didn't get that part until the end. I said it. We didn't get that part until the end. We didn't put two and two together. But this is what they do, family. You know, the financial abuse happens so subtly because what you really think is that you are helping someone and you're actually, because you're in that whole people pleasing thing, you know, you got that whole pride thing going with the people pleasing and you know, you just really trying to, you, you really trying to make this person be a better person. Basically what we were trying to do is fix, <clears throat> fix what was uh, unfixable. Okay. We were trying to fix what was broken and that wanted to remain broken. Okay. They, a narcissist doesn't want to heal because see their, their whole game in manipulation is presenting themselves as the victim and broken. Okay. That's it. So here's the deal. The way that they get you and how they manipulate you into that financial abuse. This is, this is something that they'll do, right? So you will, uh, you know, you'll buy something for them because they're good at telling you the things that they love. You know, oh, I wish I could have this. Oh, I wish I could have that. You know, they're good at telling you stuff like that. They're like, you know, they. this is the way that they manipulate you. They tell you all of these things. And then you're like, oh, that would be so cool if I could do that for them, you know, and make them happy and this and that. And some of you actually go out and you, you buy these things that they're saying that they wish that they could have. You're able to actually buy it for them, right? You take it to the narcissist, okay? Here's where it gets crazy. You take it to the narcissist and what the narcissist does, right, is they will what they'll do is they'll be like oh this is so nice oh thank you so much oh <clears throat> i i never had one of these before it was always a dream and you know i never thought i would ever be able to get this and that all that 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 right there lasts 
all of about two seconds, okay? Because literally within minutes or days, they are talking about something else that they really, really want, okay? And some of y'all got stuck with some real high ticket items, okay? Like homes, like cars, like expensive vacations that you were taking these ungrateful birds, okay? These hell-minted frogs, okay? Some toads, some whole toads, okay? On these vacations, I'm telling you, this is what they want. This is how they manipulate you. They they do things. These are the tactics. I never had this before. Oh, I, it would be so wonderful if I was able to one day go out of the country and do this. So what you end up doing is you end up paying for the trip to go abroad. You end up paying for the passport for them to go abroad. You end up paying for everything. Okay, some of y'all got stuck with, like I said, some of you got stuck with houses because that was their dream to have a house. But the main thing is with the financial abuse is that you're always giving, giving, giving. And the narcissist is giving you crumbs back, even if you're getting the crumbs. Some people, some of y'all wasn't even getting crumbs. Family, I need y'all to please hit this like button. Please help a sister out. If you rocks with your girl, help a sister out because this right here is some life. This can be some life. Uh, changing sometimes life-saving information. Do you know how many people have lost so many things, investments, tangibles, all kinds of things, and not to mention the intangibles like your sanity, dealing with these birds, okay? These are some whole zebras with leopard stripes, okay? This is how crazy they are. This is what they do, family. You can't, listen, when a person comes to you and they start talking about all of these things that they like and all of this that they, oh, I wish I could, all they're doing is appealing to your emotion. Understand that, you know, understand that. You got to recognize the game. You got to recognize what they do, okay? Because this is how they bring it to you. Oh, I would, they don't, they don't come out and say, I want this. Sometimes they will say that. But what they're doing is they're appealing to your emotion because, see, they know that you are a broken or you were a broken person or you were somewhat a, a person that needed someone or wanted someone else in your life. And they happen to be that person. So they know that if they can keep you in an emotional state. OK, if they can appeal to your emotion, you know, while they're at, as you know, if they can uh, while they're financially abusing you, they got to be able to appeal to your emotion because they understand that that's one of the things that is a, a, a area of opportunity for you. You know, you need to be in control of your emotions, but they chose you because you weren't. OK, you get what I'm saying. So this is how they come in with that abuse. They don't tell you, you know, I, I, I never had this or in my last relationship, they took this away from me. They took that away from me. And what do you do? What do we do? We busy trying to replace everything that they took away. The other person took away, not realizing that er, that what they were saying was a whole lie. We didn't even realize that. Didn't even understand that these birds was they were just really basically lying they were to they would tell you things that they had in the last relationship some of y'all found out they would tell you they had this you know they were owners of this and that they had this type of connection that type of connection you really thought you had somebody so you thought when they was trying to financially abuse you 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 know you didn't know that it was a it was financial abuse but you thought you were actually building something with someone that already had it before but unfortunately, in the last relationship they were in, that other person took it away when that's not what it was at all. That's not what it was at all. These birds never had anything, okay? These giraffes doing James Brown splits and the Michael Jackson moonwalk, I, see, I, I said it. I said it. They never had anything. But they lied to you and made you think that they did. So when they were asking you for all of these different things, you thought that, hey, you were just providing them with the life that they had before. They never had that type of life. Oh, I said it.
They never had that time. If y'all would, if y'all could have just, if I could tell you some of the lies that the narcissist told me, this clown, I tell, I tell y'all all the time, if you if you're dealing with a clown, all you're gonna get is a circus. This clown told me he was doing all types of everything in the industry and all of that. This clown didn't have nothing, nothing. And, and and a lot of times what you got to know is the, the family, because they want to use you too, they're going to come and back up everything that that narcissist is saying. And so because they, they vouching for the narcissist, you think it's the whole truth. And it's not. It is nothing even remotely close to the truth. They tell you all of these things that they want and they desire. Now, they're not going to put in on anything. And as soon as you get them what they want, family, hit that like button for me, please. Because this is the uh, this is the honest to God truth. Just like all of my video, I'm going to put it out there. Straight no chaser. As soon as you get them what they say, that they just love and desire, the, the fizz is gone in about all, all but 2.9 seconds. Might not, might not even be 2.9 seconds. They own to the next thing. See, because a narcissist never gets enough. Okay, they never get enough. So they own to the next thing, on to the next thing. Because see, what you got to understand is their agenda is to drain you dry, to leave you empty, to leave you empty. They <clears throat> understand this. A narcissist wants to leave you with absolutely nothing. That's what they want to do. They want to leave you with nothing because they don't want you to have anything to you. They don't want you to be able to move on. To anyone else so they want to siphon everything out of you <clears throat> that's what they want to do and so that financial abuse is part of leaving you with nothing drain you mentally drain you physically drain you emotionally spiritually and then drain you financially five things that's what they want to do this is what they do y'all so family, I'm telling y'all, when you see somebody trying to manipulate you, telling you, I like this and I like that, and I wish I had this and I wish I had that, you tell them, well, you, this is how you goal set and you go get those things. Don't let people appeal to your emotions and play with your emotions like that. Better yet, sit back and watch how diligent they'll be in setting goals and making that happen for themselves. That's not for you to come out your pocket. It's for them to think think uh, in a different way so they can provide that for themselves. <laughs> Anybody trying to appeal to your emotions and telling you they want this and they want that, that's manipulation. Because if a, if a person truly wants something and they have good intentions, most of the time they'll just say, you know, it, whenever my, this, this holiday comes around, if you're thinking about a gift for me, I like to do this or I like to do that. They are very straightforward. They're not hinting around. You understand what I'm saying? So family, I wanted to put this out here today. I want y'all to have a beautiful day. Be safe out there. I love you all, okay? And I will see you all healed at the top, okay, family? Shalom, peace.